Okay, it's about <clears throat> almost 9.30 in the morning. Sunday, I mean, today's Friday. So it's another episode of Hooked and Cook 73. I'm on this new location, Deep Water Channel, a different spot today. And um, let's see if we can catch any fish down around here. I mean, it's cold right now. It's about 39 degrees. When I was driving, I can see it in the car. Um, there's nobody around here. There's two boats out there. They're trolling, I think. So, so far, I got two bloodworm as my bait. So let me go ahead and cast this right now and see what happened. Okay, just put my camera over here. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm gonna try to cast my pool. All right, here we go. Second cast. I'm gonna try to go <laughs> that way. as I can on this one. That's the spot we wanted to be at. Pulling the water. See how this river is moving right today. This river is going to give us some love. Alright. Let's see if this river is going to give us love today. Find out. Okay. Here we go. Catch you later. What's up? Just got set up, two poles in the water. Let's see what this river can give us today. Good morning, peeps. Another episode of Hook and Cook 73. So we're down over here at DWC. I got this new location. I don't want to tell anybody. Um, probably a lot of people already know this spot, but I don't want to tell this, the exact address, but this place, man, it's wonderful. I mean, no struggle of walking up to the levee and down to this deep water channel. And where you park your car is actually a nice neighborhood where you can park on the side. Um, it was a cul-de-sac. And um, you're facing basically a front gate that leads you to get into the levee and then from the levee it's a smooth short distance walk to get to this water it's pretty much the same deep water channel where we fish at but there's so many different spots and sometimes if you're dead and not catching fish in one location you gotta have to start moving jumping around to different spots 
I'm still venturing around Sacramento to where I can fish. Um, I know everybody have their own secret locations. Um, that's what I wanted to do because those people that has their own secret locations, they're catching fish and they want to preserve that. They don't want to say anything. They don't want to tell everybody in the whole wild world uh, where the spot is because later on, the flock of fishermen is going to go in there and start invading that place, start trashing that place, and it's going to get overpopulated with people. So everybody have their own fishing spots. Um, today I was surprised. A uh, possibility maybe because of the weather. There's nobody here. I see two boats. They're cruising down there. I believe they're um, trolling. But this is a very nice spot. Did you look at this? Okay. No stress of setting up my fishing pool. There's a walk right here. I have to go walk down here. But right about this land right here is all houses, beautiful houses. And it's just short distance away from my location is. Um, so I'm gonna try this place. I'm gonna try this spot. I heard that there's strangers around here. Uh, fish brain, the other night, post something up. It was an overnight fishing. He caught a 56. Um, so I have an eel, but it's still kind of frozen. So I'm waiting to be thawed, and then I'm gonna put him on my my 12 footer, and I'm just gonna leave it there in the water and see what it does. I'm not even gonna take it off. I'm just gonna leave it there throughout the whole time I'm fishing. And I'm just gonna play around with my shorter fishing pool. Um, try all kinds of bait on this and see um, see what kind of fish we're gonna get. Um, so today I have leftover bloodworm from yesterday. I have um, a chicken liver. I have some night crawlers leftovers. I got some sardines and the um, eel. And I think I still got some clams, half, half a bag of clams. Um, the only thing that I don't have is a live bait. But who knows, I mean, I got like different option of bait. And if they're not gonna bite throughout the whole day, then it means it's just the cold weather is shooing all the fish away. But either way, it's still fun fishing. I mean, this is the moment that I always wanted after I get off work. Um, to be in, in this location, to be in the water, beautiful day, you know, gets you away from any stress. And you come home and um, you've done something. So, I don't know, this place, is, it's, it looks like a promising spot, but who knows? So, I'll catch you guys again later. I'll see what we got going on. Peace. I think these are the uh, Department of Fish and Game. They're doing some sort of uh, sonar. They're scouting the whole deep water. I don't know if that is a, a net that they have going on there. Uh, kind of strange. I wonder what they're doing. So there's like two boats talking. I think this guy's gonna turn around right now. I wonder if they, um, what's the deal? But they have this kind of like a net, I guess. Probably some kind of like a trap. And they uh, attach it on two boats. And um, that's what they do. So I wonder what they're doing at this point. But I uh, hope that they're not going to catch my string. Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, that's a net that they got in there. And that fishing pole is just right there. So I'm hoping that they're going to catch my string, boy. There you go. So they're netting some fish. I think that's what they're doing.
Let's see what kind of fish they got going on in here. It's interesting to see what they're doing in there. Wonder if they catch any fish. It looks like a big net. Wonder what they're doing out here. So right now look about there's a boat going on there and then there's a boat going on here and I'm like right here with my freaking line in the water. I hope that I'm gonna get my line. Pay attention, buddy. I better not get my line. Is there any fish? It doesn't look like there's any fish. Interesting. Just set up my sturgeon rig. So you can see it's all pure metal. Okay, there you go. Barbless hook. There you go. And um, I got some eel. And this is what I'm using right here. Okay. The reason I'm doing this is in case I catch a sturgeon, I don't want people to be like, have a doubt. And saying, ah, oh, you weren't catching sturgeon, you're going for stripers. So I just want to create this video now. So in case I catch one today, there's no doubt about it. All right, peace out. Here's the location over here, guys. Like I said, there's all the houses over there. People even playing games by the tree see this is kind of like the pathway here and um, small pathways down here and more pathways over here and if you can see there's a levee right there below that all the houses there you go Beautiful spot. And you got all this water over here. And then to get to my spot is basically not too bad. Not too bad of a walk. See, that's my location over there already. That's where I'm at. My spot. All right, let me go up all the way to my spot. Make sure when you guys come down, come down over here. Wear them boots because it gets hella slippery, man. There you go. Nice and flat. I just like when people's making mess. All garbage and stuff, but other than that, it's a little spot. There's people fishing now too on that one spot there. And there's people fishing as well on my right side right now. I think they just cast a couple of pools back there. There you go. He's casting. There he is. PWC, baby. There you go. Okay. This location. Uh, houses over here. Spot over there. That car is right there. So, spot y'all right here. 